Horus, the Falcon King. Long ago, in ancient Egypt, there was a great god named Horus. He was the son of Osiris, the god of the underworld, and Isis, the goddess of magic and healing. Horus had the head of a falcon and the body of a man. He wore a crown of red and white, symbolizing his rule over the whole land of Egypt. Horus was not always a king, though. He had to fight for his throne against his uncle Seth, the god of chaos and storms. Seth had killed Osiris and cut his body into pieces, scattering them all over Egypt. Isis managed to find and reassemble Osiris, but he could not return to life. He became the lord of the dead, while Seth claimed the throne of the living. Isis hid her son Horus in the marshes of the Nile, where he grew up strong and brave. When he was old enough, he challenged Seth for the kingship of Egypt. The two gods fought many battles, each one more fierce than the last. Horus used his falcon eyes to see through Seth's tricks and his falcon wings to fly over his attacks. Seth used his brute strength and his thunderstorms to try to overpower Horus. One day, Seth managed to injure Horus's left eye, which was the moon. The eye was torn into pieces and thrown into the sky, creating the phases of the moon. Horus's friend Thoth, the god of wisdom and writing, helped him to heal his eye and restore it to its full power. The eye became a symbol of protection and healing, known as the Eye of Horus. Another day, Horus managed to catch Seth in a net and bring him before a tribunal of gods. The gods had to decide who should be the rightful king of Egypt, Horus or Seth. Some gods favored Horus, while others favored Seth. The debate lasted for a long time, until finally the gods asked Osiris for his opinion. Osiris said that Horus should be king since he was his son and heir. The gods agreed and crowned Horus as the pharaoh of Egypt. Horus was a good and wise king. He protected his people from enemies and disasters. He brought justice and order to the land. He honored his father Osiris by performing rituals for the dead. He also honored his mother Isis by building temples for her worship. He married Hathor, the goddess of love and beauty, and had a son named Ahi, who played music for the gods. Horus had many forms and aspects. He was sometimes called Horus the Elder or Horus the Great, who was one of the first five gods created by Atom, the creator god. He was also sometimes called Horus the Younger or Horus the Child, who was nursed by Isis in secret. He was also sometimes called Horus of Bedit or Horus of Edfu, who was worshipped in specific temples and regions. Horus was one of the most important and popular gods in ancient Egypt. He was seen as the embodiment of divine kingship and royal power. He was also seen as a god of healing and protection, especially for travelers and sailors. He was associated with the sun and the sky, as well as with falcons and other birds. Horus is still remembered today as a fascinating figure in Egyptian mythology. His story inspires many people with its themes of courage, loyalty, justice, and triumph over evil. I hope you enjoy. Subscribe for more. See you in the next videos.